Today I am going to explain what is leasehold and how to make journal entry of the leasehold property. So agenda is what is leasehold, leasehold improvement, leasehold assets, is leasehold a tangible asset, when to capitalize the leasehold improvement, journal entry for the leasehold improvement as well as how to amortization of the leasehold improvement. Now what is leasehold? A leasehold is an accounting term that refer to an asset or property that a leasee which is known as tenant contract to rent from the lesser the property owner or landlord for an agreed upon time maybe five year or ten year in exchange for a scheduled payment maybe the monthly payment so leasehold is equal to capital assets which is also known as intangible assets for example renting space in an office building for company's use maybe for the lawyer office cp office or immigration office and also the renting a building to be used for the retail office or retail store subway starbucks mucho bruto burger king and many more now what is leasehold assets the assets is typically property such as building or a space in a building but it is different from the leasehold improvement so leasehold improvement are made to the interior of the building which might include such thing as building walls some partitions adding lighting and fixtures and constructing shelves modification made to the exterior of the building are not considered leasehold improvements leasehold improvement is equal to capital asset and also known as tangible assets is leasehold tangible assets or intangible assets so it gives the tenant the right to exclusively possesses and use a real property for a fixed time period maybe five years or ten years so since the leasehold services as a contractually provided interest not the actual building it is an intangible asset. In the leasehold cases, the owner of the building, owner of the office, does not give or transfer the title of the building to the other person, but only gives the right to use for a particular period of time. In return, they charge money on the monthly basis. Now capitalizing leasehold improvement. For example, I have on my company and I get one office on lease. Now I will consider whether the improvement which is done inside the building is significant or means it's like having a more value or less value. Accordingly, I will capitalize the leasehold improvement. So it is the amount that the company spends to improve the rented building or office space it does not matter how much money is spent the company needs to make the general entry for the leasehold improvement it will be recorded by capitalizing the amount and amortize it over the useful life or lease term whichever is less and will be recognized as leasehold improvement on the balance sheet I would like to explain this one with one example. So in the transaction number one, RJ Private Limited enters a leasehold agreement with the landlord to rent the office space for six years. And the company RJ Private Limited spends $60,000 to make overall improvement on the building on several aspects such as walls, ceiling, fixture, lighting and carpet. A useful life of the such improvement is expected to be 10 years. Now, I am just going to make general entry of the leasehold improvement. So, the general entry for the leasehold improvement is as in front of you. Leasehold improvement account debit 60,000 to cash if the payment is made by cash by the owner $60,000. Being leasehold improvement on the building is done by the company. Now, the leasehold improvement is an asset of the company. 
so that will be shown on the asset size of the building of the balance sheet and the cash that will be directed that will be reduced also from the asset size of the balance sheet transaction number two as per the information available lease term is six year which is less than the useful life of the assets 10 year then the company needs to amortize the sixty thousand dollar of lease improvement over lease term which is six year in this case we are not going to take 10 years but six year only because the lease term or the useful life of the leasehold improvement whichever is less so the six is less than 10 now look at this the general entry for the amortization of leasehold improvement hence the company rj private limited should make a general entry on the first year as follows so how to make a calculation first of all for the amortization so calculation of amortization that will be sixty thousand dollar which is the assets amount divide by six because six years is equal to ten thousand dollar per year that will be considered as amortization so amortization expenses account debit ten thousand to accumulated amortization account ten thousand so being amortization expenses debited for the first year now it is very important to note here if the leasehold improvement is less than capitalization limit then what will happen if the amount spent for the enhancement or improvement for the lease is insignificant means not a big amount the company can just directly record it as expenses instead of capitalizing so capitalizing mean is for the long period of time if you are going to keep it in the balance sheet that is known as capitalizing of that assets so lease for the improvement is considered also assets for the company for example if the amount of the lease whole improvement is 3500 which is less than the company's capitalization limit it can be recorded as expense in the accounting period instead so expenses account debit to cash bank or account payable as the case may be so what is the conclusion we have understood the meaning of leasehold difference between leasehold and leasehold assets leasehold improvement whether this is tangible or intangible we came to know the leasehold is intangible assets and leasehold improvement is tangible assets we learned how to make the general entries for the leasehold improvement and amortization of leasehold improvement as well